guys! Long time no see! So my birthday is coming up and me and my family went to Quail Hollow Tack in uh, Flower Mound, Texas to see what they got at their annual Valentine's Day sale. And they had some really great deals. I got a $300 Grand Prix hunt coat for $50. It's a dark, I want to say navy, with a purple and gray plaid running through it. And I think it's really cute and unique. I do mostly breed shows. I don't do straight hunter jumper shows, so we're allowed to be a little more non-traditional. But I don't think this is too far. I think I'm going to try and find a lilac or a lavender shirt to go under it. Something cool. This will be great for the little shows coming up in the summer because it is really lightweight um, and not as heavy. I have a green wool jacket and it's pretty heavy, but this is pretty light, so I'm going to try it on. So obviously I'm not going to be wearing it with uh, hot pink underneath. I'm going to get it tailored in a little bit on the sides just so I can have a little more definition in back there. Uh, just so I have a little more definition on my waist. I'll get the darts taken in by a uh, seamstress. Um, but yeah, I think this will be a great little functional jacket and uh, I'm really glad I got a great deal on it. So <laughs> For my birthday, my parents surprised me with this really, really awesome top of the line bridal. Um, it's called Edgewood and they make pretty much the best of the best leather straps, leather goods, bridles, girths, martingales, all kinds of stuff. And um, Lily is a cob size. So this is a cob, Edgewood, and fancy stitched and raised. Um, I didn't get the padded because she has such a fine face. I didn't want anything that was too overwhelming. Um, and I love it. And I tried it on her last night and it looks beautiful. And um, these are made to last a long time. So you might notice that it's like really orange. And that's because this is just the virgin leather. They don't pre-oil it before you get it. So it is kind of this really bright orange color. So we are going to be oiling this today. And uh, they have on their website a step-by-step -step process. They say to first dip it in a 90% meat's foot oil and 10% meat's foot compound solution. But I don't have any meat's foot compound, so we're just going to make do with meat's foot oil. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. And after you dip it, you can come back and put more oil in it and to get it darker and more soft. Um, it takes the oil in really well. And by the end of this process, it should be a much darker color than it is now. So when you're buying Edgewood, don't be afraid because even though it looks really orange, after you oil it, it's gonna be dark. <laughs> so what I got first was um, something to put the oil in to dip the tack in and I just got this little Ozarka water bottle and I just cut the top off so that I can put the oil in it and then I'm going to disassemble my entire bridle and put and dip it in there piece by piece. So let's get started. <laughs>
As you can see, the tack is getting so much darker already with one dip. Yeah. And I will update you later when everything's dried off and we'll see how it looks.